Hey guys, if you've replaced your eccentric shaft and your actuator motor with non-OEM parts and you're having a hard time relearning the set points for the end stops, then this might help you. The code that this video addresses is the master adaptation outside tolerances. If you don't have that code, then your problem might be different than mine. But what this code means is that the system's tried rotating the eccentric shaft and it's found that it has not been able to rotate it uh, to spec. Like it's, it's aiming for 190, two and a half degrees of rotation, plus or minus two and a half degrees. And I'm just guessing that because if you go into the help menu here and it explains what this code actually means and what triggers it, it's saying that it'll trip if it's less than 190 degrees rotation or greater than 195. So I'm just assuming they've got even tolerances. So if you're, if you get this code, everything's moving when you put it into the ignition uh, position, uh, but it clicks uh, at the end or it rattles, um, then it might not be rotating enough. And that rattle is kind of an indication that the motor is trying to continue to advance that that shaft, but it's uh, not it's not doing it uh, past 190 degrees. So um, that's why it, it does that rattle, or at least it's one of the reasons. I think there's so many different ways that this could all, all go bad. But um, for my case, this was this was the problem here. So when I wanted to verify this before making any changes, I went back to the uh, live view. Let me get out of here. So I went back to the uh, live data and with that, I was able to read the end position and rotate it manually to find the starting position. And when I did the math, I found that my shaft was only rotating 189 and a half degrees or 188, I think, and a half degrees. And um, and so that's obviously less than 190. So that explained why the code was tripping. And to be honest, I don't know if it's a problem with the actuator or if it's a problem with the shaft itself. So what I decided to do was try, uh, was to try and adjust the end stop so that it could rotate a little bit further. And that's ultimately what I'm going to show you right now. So here I'm just putting in the modified end stop. So no rattle at the end because it moved enough and it's pretty happy. So now when we go over to the code reader, so if I read codes, let's see what we got. Might still have the old code. Yeah, it does. So let's go clear those. Okay. Now I'm going to go to... service. I'm just going to run the Valvetronic uh, relearn. I see you guys using ISTA. It's so much faster than this. All right, so now I'm going to do this all I'm going to do is push yes here and I'm going to uh, I'm going to show you over here what's going on. All right, I'm pushing it. All right. And that's it. So, I hope this helps you guys uh, if you're having this problem and um, if you're asking yourself, well, how much do I have to grind off? You got to use your live data and try to figure out how much is your shaft actually rotating. And you got to do that by looking at the, the rotation at the 
lower stop and the higher stop and then subtract them to understand you know exactly what's happening if you're rotating too much you could probably put washers underneath your end stops to have it rotate less um, if it's not rotating enough then you're talking about grinding some of your uh, yeah grinding some of your end stops off and I'll show you what I did before I did any grinding I made um, I made an end stop so I found a, a screw that had the right thread for the end stop and then I um, I welded this nut onto it so I didn't just jump right into grinding off the uh, the end stop but I used this to validate the idea that that yeah I just needed to rotate a little more and that code would go away so after that I measured how much worked you know because I was able to get it to relearn with that in place so I measured from the top of this down down to the uh, you know the cylinder head and uh, I took that measurement and uh, it was 40.3 and uh, and then I ended up grinding, the, this is the original, 42.8. I only ground it down to about 42 or 41.8 or so. Um, and then I just tested it because I figured you can always take off more. But, uh, you know, it, I didn't want to have to shim it up if I didn't have to. So um, the, f the final number was more like 42, let's say. And um, that was enough to get, to get my system to relearn.